I'm pretty discouraged how I'm, guy, how I'm showing you guys this, but I'm trying to finish the video tonight. I order Cat 8 cables because I have internet that can support pretty high speeds, and I also noticed a lower ping with them. I ordered a 6 foot cable and they sent me a 3 foot. Even the package says it's 6 foot. And then when I undid it, I'm like, crap. So this was supposed to go clear over somewhere over here with my batteries or whatever. So now it's stuck over here, at least for this video, until they get stuff situated. I got my display port plugged in, display cord plugged in, and it snaps in. When you go to pull it out, make sure you push the button down. It ain't like HDMI. It's going to this TV. I got HDMI regular going to this weird one. I got weird ones going on. And I have another computer that's running the top ones. Normally I run four monitors every night to manage everything. Then I got the Steam Deck cord, original one, coming in right there. And I have a mouse plugged in right there. I use a Bluetooth mouse, but when I'm at home, it's easier just to push a button and it switches between uh, that dongle. Bluetooth on the other computer. So let's go ahead and this is my first time putting it in. When I plug this in, it'd be cool if it shows up a light, which means it charges without being turned on. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Nothing turned on up here yet. Let's see what happens when I turn this on and zoom you guys out because I've had it on this screen before, but to get two screens hasn't quite worked, at least with previous docks. It's probably going to take some setup. I am on Windows 11, not the original software. I had Windows 10 for a while, um, but I went ahead and upgraded on this. Signing in. Now, I said I had other docks. Right there's my dock for my laptop, right there. And then I have another one, because I told you guys that I just could not get. This is my dock for the road. Um, it works good for using a USB hub while charging, while having whatever else I have going. So it popped up over here. Let's push the button on my mouse and see if we can go and get... It's slowly discovering things, that's for sure, because the wired connection, you guys can see that down there. If you guys know Windows computers, it keeps ding-donging. Oh. I don't know what it's doing. Uh, it's showing that's a wired connection for sure. What does it keep dinging like that for? Extend. Don't know where it's going from there. That one goes into power saving all the time. This is put on display port. Oh, it's on. Yeah, it's on display port. And I got HDMI 1 and 2, but it's on display. Show only. No, I wanted to extend. Oh, now it's showing 3. Disconnect this display. Why does it keep doing that? Let's go see if there's an update. It, uh, it was updated all the way as of. We couldn't find any other displays. Well, you found these, you just won't go to it. Can I shut this one off? Where's my, oh, my settings are right here. Checking for updates. You hear, you guys hear it just keeps, what's this? None of that has anything to do with anything. So let's go ahead and restart. You know what? I'm going to test this because, oh, that's getting annoying. I'm going to unplug the HDMI cord. Because I've had no problem. Duplicate one and two. Oh, you quit doing that. 
Let's go detect again. Let's uh, restart it. Why does it keep doing that? Mm -hmm. Let's unplug the. Let's unplug that and see if it still does it. It's still doing it. So let's plug that back in. How is it doing? Sorry for your view. I really thought this was just gonna work right when I plugged it in, so I didn't. I'm gonna unplug that, see if it quits. I just plugged that one in. Unplugged the display port, and now it is. I told it to only show on number two. Oh, it worked. Wish it wasn't sideways. Can I duplicate? There, duplicate. It keeps, if you guys can see that, only show on one. Okay. This is one. So the display port, or the uh, HDMI cord worked. But for some reason, the display port is barking at me. Keeps making that sound, if you guys can hear that. Here, I plugged in the display port. I'm going to click detect. It's almost like the display port is... Uh, Having problems. Let's go ahead and restart. Sometimes that fixes issues. The restart's done. It is not. No, not really? It was doing fine until I started. I was just about ready to say, well, it ain't doing the ding dong. It knows there's a second monitor there. Here, I'm only going to show on number two work oh look it works now it's displaying on the second H or that's display port display port see we still have the HDMI to plug in so maybe it just needed to restart let's plug in the HDMI and see what happens this is hard to do with one hand there we go now we have Probably going to bring it back to here. Should be extending it to a duplicate display on one and two. It just will not listen to me. Duplicate display. Here, I'll show you guys the settings that are popping up. Duplicate display on one and two. Extend desktop to these this display. So I'm trying to extend it. On a normal computer, you can tell it to. Here, I'll show you guys up here. So I have my other computer running right here. It's Windows 10. I guess it's going to go over here. I have the computer monitor because it's a laptop that plus the other screen and you can go see I'm going between the two I'm going between the two and when you click identify look one two three and then when I go down duplicate desktop one and three you get tons of options so when we come back down here It won't, do you see it goes one, two? It almost does it. There's one, two, three. That's exactly what my other computer is doing. When I click it, 
See, it's going one, three, two. That's exactly what my other one's doing. But as soon as I click keep it, it, or if I make that my main display, no, it just won't, it won't do it. Now, that's the problem I was having with the other docking stations, and I was really hoping that this one would fix it, and it didn't. So I'm assuming that a cheap docking station, one that's half the price of this one, would do just fine. I don't know if I'm really going to keep this one. It's giving me problems. Also, I have something that most people don't have. A display port to HDMI. So, let's make sure that HDMI port works first. Okay, I unplugged the display port. Now, if I tell it to detect, show only on two. Oh, we checked if that worked. No, no, I don't want it on there. Okay, now I'm going to put you guys down to do this. I'm taking this adapter I have, putting it on the display port. Taking the display port and now making it a HDMI. I know. Mean, uh, oh, new external found. So I just put it over there. This thing don't even know it. It is detected. And it's back to doing what it was doing. Let's at least get it to work. Like I want to know what screen I'm on two. So two, one. I need to say only show on. Crap. Gotta yeah, unplug the HDMI cord. Okay, now we're gonna be down. No, you gotta fix yourself. Come on. Why are you sideways? Let's fix that first. Display orientation. Great. Won't even let me see it. Okay, here we go. Don't know why when it came back to the Steam Deck it did that. Where's my detect button? Maybe that adapter isn't something you can do. Yeah, it ain't popping up. So as of right now, the computer is updated. Oops. The computer is updated. You're all up to date as of 10 minutes ago. And I can't get a second output going. What I do do though, is do have a normal output to one monitor and then I use this for my secondary monitor. But it's too small when you go from like looking at something this big and then you look at this small. But normally I just have my recorder there and then my friend's camera's right there and then TV going there and a bunch of crap going. That's not with the Steam Deck, but these two screens, that's what I was hoping to do. And I still can't. 